So just because a model doesn't verify, right? Because it fails some of those component tests or uh, you know the patterns of behavior that you're seeing on the output don't make any sense, right? Does that mean that the model is wrong, right? Um, there are several causes for model problems that could cause them to not verify. One is that it could simply be a bug, right? You did make a mistake. There is a typo maybe in your code or you know something about the way you think it's calculating things isn't the way it actually is, right? In which case you need to go in and fix that. Could also be that there's a miscommunication between uh, the model authors and the model developers, right? So you, you, you talk to your political scientists, uh, 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 partners, and um, they explain something and you misinterpreted it, right? Um, or they didn't explain it clearly. Right? So for instance, in the original pseudocode we looked at, um, if you look back at it, the, the, the voter would actually change their vote if the vote was tied among their friends. Right? Um, and that might not have been what they intended, right? because the way we implemented it. And so, uh, but maybe you know, after talking with the political scientists, they actually find that kind of interesting as a possibility. So if you look at the code that's actually implemented in the, the chapter seven in the models library, it actually allows you to turn on and off that feature, right? So that bug has now become a feature, right? Finally, it could be that your model doesn't verify for a very simple reason, which is that HTTP models are complex systems often, right? And as a result of that, the, the results are an emergent property from the low-level agent interactions. And there might be something that you weren't able to predict about the way those interactions occur. And as a result of that, the model features emergent behavior uh, that's still correct, just not what you thought it would be. So verification, once it's done uh, to your uh, satisfaction, can have a lot of benefits. And even while you're doing it, it can have a lot of benefits, right? First of all, it helps you understand the model, right? Even though we have a model where micro rules lead to macro level outcomes, just having that model isn't enough to develop an understanding. We need to understand how and why those micro level rules lead to those macro level outcomes. In other words, we need a generative explanation of what's going on. If we don't have that, to a large extent, we don't really understand our model. We don't really understand the insights the model is generating. It. The verification process helps us understand those relationships because it helps us understand why the model outcomes that we're seeing are generated by what we're getting, right? And um, as models become increasingly complicated, verification is very difficult. So it's important to start early in this process to understand those low-level interactions so that you can then build upon that knowledge to make more and more sense out of the larger and larger space of interactions, right? Uh, it, it's also important to realize that verification is not dichotomy. A model is not verified or unverified. All models are verified to some extent, right? This is a continuum, right? And you can always verify a model more than what you've already done, right? You can always make sure that there's more, that there's, that there's, that it's, that it corresponds more correctly to the actual conceptual model, right? So verification is an important process. It's something that I think helps uh, you out a lot if you carry it out correctly. And I think it can really improve the understanding and knowledge that you're gaining from your models.